Hi everyone, it is Wednesday the 3rd of January 2024. Celebrity refers to my 15 seconds of fame being on the BBC. My supervisors got a grant, an effective extension of my PhD research. The Secretary of Science, or more likely her media team, thought it would be a cool thing to film because AI-assisted neurosurgery, which is the abbreviated form of this research, sounds quite sexy. Unfortunately, I was cut from the final one minute long video, but it kind of makes sense because I'm not on the grant, although it is mostly my research. Once it got online, the BBC saw it and wanted to do an extended version. Because it was a longer piece, I actually made it on camera this time for about 15 seconds and had one line. After the BBC video came out, a few more journalists reached out to us and I was interviewed by French radio and Reuters and we were actually trending on Google News for a bit. It's like, oh, I've actually achieved quite a decent amount in the last three years and people seem to be interested about it. It's, it's cool. Moving on to cramps, or more specifically, muscle cramps in my chest. About a year ago, I was getting these quite sharp pains in the left side of my chest, and your first thought was, of course, something heart-related, but I was running a lot at the time, so I just kind of let it go. After a few weeks, I did go to a walk-in centre, they did the ECG, turns out my heart is fine. Then I went to my GP, and he thought it was acid reflux. I took pills for a couple of months of proton pump inhibitors, or PPIs, which reduce the amount of acid that your stomach produces, and it didn't really make a difference. The next logical step is to get a gastroscopy when they stick a camera through your esophagus to see your stomach. I did the gastroscopy, I was under full anaesthetic. Turns out everything looks as it should. They did a biopsy to check for a bacterial infection and that also came out negative. The surgeon also attached a pH monitor to my esophagus. It was there to check my general pH levels across a four day period, but once again, it turns out those are perfectly normal. We therefore have to rule out acid reflux and probably it's a musculoskeletal nervous system pain thing. Thankfully, it seems to have gone for the last couple of months at least. At its worst, this time last year, it was quite dehabilitating. Often I couldn't get to sleep or if I was working, I'd have to lie down for a little bit just from the pain. But I found the most effective thing was going for walks or at the time going for runs. So speaking of runs, from the marathon, if you recall, about 10 kilometers in, I started getting quite bad pains in my right knee, but I continued, ran the rest of the marathon. Perhaps uh, not the best idea for my long-term health because my meniscus has torn because of it. The meniscus is effectively the shock pad of your knee. Perhaps it will need surgery, hopefully not. It's true what they say though, you only appreciate something once you lost it. At the moment, I can't really even go for long walks. A few months ago, I could. But I also love playing sport and I want to go back to that. And of course, I even love running. I did it for such a long period of time. And I, I don't know if I'll ever be able to do that again. In the meantime, though, I have been going to the gym very regularly, at least four times a week. And I'm now stronger than I was before I started running in April of 2020. Next two months, I'm gonna be focusing on work a lot, so probably a treat -o. See you in March.